Okay, so I've got a couple of 6882 FPU chips. One of them is 25 megs and the other one's 40. And what I'm going to do is in the uh, spare footprint where there should be an FPU in the A1200, I'm going to solder in a socket. So I've got myself some of these sockets here. And you buy these in a pack of five. And what you need to do is press out the centre of this. Let me just get that under the camera. So you push this centre bit out. have to make sure that all of the little tabs on there are clean because you need to solder these from the inside. Um, that's the easiest way of doing it. So I'll just go over to Amiga and I'll show you what I've, what I've done. I've done it already so I'm going to just quickly show you that. Okay so I've soldered this in. This is the 68 pin uh, socket. Um, if you're going to do it yourself make sure the square pin, this little square hole is in this corner and the rest of it should all line up and uh, for your chips so um, and this is the points here and here where you use a tool and you need one of these if you're going to take them in and out you need this and that's the points where where that goes in the socket it's not easy to show you and hold the camera at the same time but that pulls your chip out anyway so uh, I'm going to try two chips I'm going to try the 40 meg and I'll try the 25 meg. I'll try the 25 meg first and just see if there's any difference because we need to know if it clocks to this or if it's clocking to the accelerated chip which is this one here and that's 50 megahertz and this one is uh, 14. So if it clocks to that you're going to get 14 megs on your FPU. If it clocks to this you're going to get 50 megs on your FPU. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of uh, test quick tests and see if it works on um, on sysinfo and see, see see if there's any difference on there. It probably won't be, but you know, um, and moreover, just see if it actually works. You know, see if it actually does give us an FPU. So this is with the 6882 FPU in, and as you can see, it's picked it up. Um, and we're just going to do a quick uh, speed test here. Uh, computing speed. I'm going to do this. I'm going to restart it, and then I'm going to do it again. And just uh, so we've got nine one eight one dry stones on this um, chip speed versus the A three point twenty eight. So fresh reboot. I'm just going to hit the speed again and see what we get. Um, I would imagine dry stones would be very similar. Nine one four seven. So okay. So we've got a rough idea of what we're looking at on this chip. Okay, so this is the the 40 meg um, FPU. Uh, I'm going to just do a speed check and see if we get any difference compared to what we did with the, uh, the 25. And we've got 9180 and 3.28. Okay, we've had a fresh reboot. I'm just going to hit the speed button now. See what we get. Anyhow, uh, so this is the this is what you get in 9179 dry stones. So although the results were very very similar, um, I've decided to stick with the 40 uh, megahertz in there because it was the last chip I put in. I can't be bothered to pull it out and put this one back in. Why should I? You know, I might as well leave a 40 in there. Um, so you know, if you are going to do this, go and get yourself. It doesn't matter whether you get 25 or 40 because um, it's always going to clock down to the the FPU will clock down to the actual CPU that's on board, not what's on the accelerator. Uh, but it will work with an accelerator, so there you go. So if you if that's what you're after, you want to get yourself an FPU, you've been one of these people that's complained, oh, there's no FPU in it. Well, there you go, you can have an FPU in your A1200. There you go. Yeah, that's about it really, so thanks for watching.